Hello raw online learners we have seen aliphatic amino acid metabolism that is glycine and alanine there is a second important aliphatic compound that is hydroxy amino acid we have two important hydroxy amino acid they are serine and threonine here your serine is non essential and glucogenic amino acid whereas threonine is essential and glucogenic amino acid so you have two hydroxy containing amino acids that is serine and threonine in this serine is non essential whereas threonine is essential that means we have to supply threonine in our diet serine can be synthesized in our body both are glucogenic that means their metabolic end products ends in glucose production so this is the serine compound this is the chemical structure of serine which contains hydroxyl group so how the serine is synthesized in our body by three ways you can remember it as ggt what are they ggt it is one is from glycolytic intermediate that is phosphoglycerate okay three phosphoglycerate from the glycolytic intermediate second g represents glycine and t represents transamination so the first reaction from phosphoglycerate how it is happening there are three steps in this reaction first one is dehydrogenase reaction that means you are going to oxidize this compound 3 phosphoglycerate to 3 phosphohydroxy pyruvate so you have oxidized the compound so the parallel reduction compound is nad plus 2 nadh plus h plus the enzyme here is dehydrogenase so what is the second step in this reaction you're going to transaminate okay because you have got a keto acid 3 phosphohydroxy pyruvate is a keto acid we have to get one amino acid from the keto acid so whenever we are changing a keto acid to a amino acid the reaction responsible for that is transamination so the enzyme here is phosphoserine transaminase because the amino acid formed is phosphoserine so what will be the third reaction we need serine so we have to remove the phosphate group from the phosphoserine so the third step here is phosphatase because you are going to remove the phosphate from the serine and at last the compound which we are getting is serine this is how we can synthesize serine from the phosphoglycerate this is a three step reaction first step involves dehydrogenation second transamination third one phosphatase okay you are going to remove the phosphate group to get the serine compound what is the second way of synthesizing serine from glycine so usually we can get glycine this is your glycine compound you can get otherwise you can synthesize glycine from serine the only difference here is this one okay so that means you are going to transfer a methyl group okay you need only hydrogen here so you have to transfer this methyl group which one is the acceptor of methyl group it is your tetrahydrofolic acid otherwise tetrahydrofolate okay so you have to transfer a methyl group to tetrahydrofolate which becomes n5n10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid the enzyme here is transferase it is actually serine hydroxy methyl transferase by this you can synthesize glycine how you are going to synthesize serine from glycine this is the 
reversal of the same reaction. Okay, the enzyme is also serine hydroxymethyl transferase. So, by this reaction, you are going to get serine from glycine. Okay, by this, this compound can enter into one carbon pool. If you reverse the reaction, okay, by synthesizing glycine, you are going to get N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid, which goes into the one carbon pool. Okay, I have said earlier, serine is a glucogenic amino acid. Serine can undergo non-oxidative deamination by removal of water. The enzyme here is dehydratase which can give your pyruvate. Whenever you are getting a pyruvate, that means the metabolic end product is glucose. That is why serine is called as glucogenic amino acid. So, how you are going to get a pyruvate? By non-oxidative deamination. Using the enzyme dehydratase, you are going to get your pyruvate. The serine is called as glucogenic. So, what is the third way of generating serine? By transamination. Okay. So, by transamination, you are going to get the compound serine. For that, you need one amino acid. This is your first amino acid. So, what is the keto acid? First keto acid. That is your hydroxypyruvate. This is your keto acid 1. When they both condense, undergoes a transamination reaction and you are going to get the compound serine and pyruvate. Serine is your second amino acid. Pyruvate is the second keto acid. 